So the question that many parents have out there is, will the students here in Mecklenburg County return to the classroom? That's a big decision that the district will be making tonight at its upcoming school board meeting. Spectrum News 1 reporter Miranda Whittington joining us now live in Dilworth Elementary. And Miranda, last month the board decided it was best to go fully remote. Good morning. Good morning, Ryan. That's right. They decided that students would be fully remote, and it's been like that since December 14th. Now, students are supposed to stay remote until the end of this week, and starting next week, they actually would return back to the classroom unless a new decision is made at tonight's meeting. Now, again, all of this was decided last month, and um, they decided to go this route after Superintendent Ernest Winston recommended remote learning due to the number of COVID-19 cases here in Mecklenburg County. Now, students with disabilities were still able to have equal access to remote and in-person instruction, based on their individual education plans. Yesterday, the district released new information from their weekly metrics dashboard that will also be considered in tonight's decision. As of now, CMS says 46 new positive COVID-19 cases are among students and 98 are among staff members. The district also announced they currently have 82 schools in the district that have at least one positive case within the past 14 days. The district also says that they have 75% of its schools um, with full-time nurse coverage. Now, again, all of that is going to be taken into consideration as they get ready for this big decision tonight. The district is urging parents and students to continue practicing a social distancing and wearing masks and, um, you know, all of those things so they can continue um, having their schools open and also hopefully having students back in the classroom. That decision will be made at tonight's meeting starting at 6 o'clock. Live here in Charlotte, I'm Miranda Whittington, Spectrum News 1.